I tell that to him because he tells me that it works, that it worked in the past. Okay? So we did it just more suitable away for two weeks. What do you think? It's okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. And it was okay three months for long. It's working, okay? It's, it's not very special for this, but it's very really good for him. I think this is the best thing we can, we can do with him. Doing something that is good for him, not for us or for our mother. And I uh, know that she know also this thing that there's big problems often in just small changes. You know, it's like a domino. I have just to do that to the first, um, I don't know the English word for the domino thing. You know, the thing. That, yes. Okay. And um, um, maybe it will be enough for that session. Maybe not. Okay. So we have a single, uh, single session. And uh, more money for me. Okay. No, it is not about money. Just to be sorry. Um, it, it's okay. What is the very first thing you do? I love the Duncan and Miller article. The client theory of change. You know that? It's a very interesting article. It's uh, online, you can find it. And it started asking, um, basically, he asked the client what is the first sign for you that tells you that um, you're going the right way or that, uh, what do you think you can start to do to solve your problem. And often it's, it's enough. It's all good what you need. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's it. We have many things about mindset. Because during all workshops, we spend many, many time uh, working on the mindset to change the terms of mindset. About techniques, yeah, actually, you use your techniques. There are, there are I think, there aren't uh, single session techniques. Okay. Um, but mindset is the most important thing. Acting as if a single session is possible. I will do an exercise uh, in a few, a few minutes to show that. So, and the second important thing, the first one is yes, mindset, the second one is do it. We do it, 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 do it. As if a single session is enough. Do it, do it, do it, do it. So, we in our group, it's only in Italian. Uh, how many of you speak Italian? Fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay, it's okay. Uh, I just have one copy. So, yeah, so we identify some basic intervention. We're very lucky because we arrived at single session therapy just two years ago. Yeah, 30 years ago, something just where I did two years ago, we arrived. So, we can read. Uh, other researches of the books and say, wow, I can do that, 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 this is not okay. And we did find some basic intervention. I, I go very, very fast. The first one to do a single session therapy is to find a problem in rational terms. Be very concrete. What is the problem? Obsessive toes. What do you mean? Obsessive toes. Depression. What is depression? What do you mean depression? What do you do? You know what I'm talking about. And they clarify the goal and set the priorities. Why? Because uh, what is your goal for the Serbian for the, this session? Uh, this, 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 this. Okay, what is the priority? Choose one goal and then we can uh, from the other goals or not because domino effect. Maybe we uh, reach the first goal and the other goals you will find how long, you know, I mean, which are my because you have the resources. Ask for constant feedback. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. ask for constant feedback. Uh, so you did that, and it works, so you're telling me that, you know. Um, there is in the world of feedback informative treatments. This very time, I don't know if it's the right English, sorry. Um, it's very important to ask feedback to the client for many reasons. One is about the relationship. If you ask to the client, uh, did I understand? 
were telling me that and this, the client felt um, disconnected, you know. Uh, um, yeah, you are basically you're constructing um, empathy, you know. But also, you are telling to him um, that he has the resources. So you did that, and it works. Yeah, it actually works. Okay, it works. I know that you know what I'm talking about. And it is the resources and an exception to the problem and identify a counter dysfunctional solution. The first one, you know what I mean, is about uh, identify what works or what um, you can use, the client can use to solve this problem internal resources and external resources. And a template dysfunctional solution, probably you know that, is uh, an MRI construct. Uh, identify what does work and see if you can stop that, see if the client can stop that. Um, to, my, to my client, they answer, what you're doing? I, uh, do you talk about your problem? Yes, a lot of talk, talk to my wife, talk to And he tells, no. Because last time I told you about my problems, I, I feel, I feel uh, awful, I feel uh, that the problem is bigger, or so you can't stop the problem with problem. I can do that. Okay? That is a attempt at a solution that doesn't work. Give compliments, feedback, and suggestions. Uh, Jeff Young, you know, my dad, um, Jeff Young is, uh, sorry, I didn't say, is the director of the um, Uber Center in Australia. Okay. Uh, I went in Austin, Australia, uh, to train the school teacher therapy team. Um, he invented a beautiful therapy called No Bullshit Therapy. It's fantastic, it's fantastic. very straight and direct. Uh, you can find something on it, it's very interesting. And it's simple. And yesterday I saw something about simple therapy. I love simple therapy. Why? Because you you have so much time to do complex therapy, you know. You have so much time, but sometimes uh, you can give a suggestion, you can give a paper, um, a feedback, you can just talk um, at a loud voice, you know, like I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I think that I think this. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, it works for me. Okay. Maybe you can try this, yes. You need another session now. Okay. So be simple. Probably the point six is be simple. And then uh, seven, explain the open door. Be sure that your client knows that can can come in the future after one day, one week, one more, one year, ten years. For the same problem or for other problems. I'm not abandoning you. If you need, you can come in and we have another session if you need. Okay? Don't force in a single session. The client decide. Do you need another session? Um, yes. I don't think so. But okay. Make an appointment. So, total the seven basic intervention. Very simple. And uh, yes. So, we will have a QA uh, session, single session. Uh, but first, I want to ask you to experiment a single session mindset uh, with um, an exercise, a very simple exercise that I learned in Australia from Jeff Young, who was said, just shut the time because. Yeah, okay, we have time. So, relax, put your stuff down. Okay, we're so relaxed. Yes. Very well. Now you can choose, you can close your eyes, you can fix uh, something, you can uh, study, study something in front of you. Mm -hmm. And beautiful and nice. I feel embarrassed. Okay. And take three deep breaths. Okay. 
And now, much just a new client from you. And he said he wants uh, he wants to check up with you. And imagine your common first session. Imagine what you do in your typical first session. Imagine what you ask. Imagine the goal. The dialogue. Imagine what you ask. It is your strategy.
Pistons. When you finish, you can put all the stuff down. Come, assume another relaxed, relaxed position. Come, choose, close your eyes, or You can see in your mind in your strategy. Do that for a few moments. Take the paper, the the pound, you can put down your selection of that. What difference do you notice about the two sessions? What are the difference in this single session? 
What do you do? 